Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Taylor or Tayrex Mua, small makeup artist, lover, enthusiast, and influencer. A lot of times my tutorials on here are videos I've taken from my TikTok lives and like condensed down into a tutorial, but today I want to do an actual tutorial where I'm talking while I'm doing my makeup. And so once again, just before I get started, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to just start getting into it. I did already like wash my face, took a shower, cleaned with my Murad clarifying cleanser. I used this today because my skin has been getting a little oily with the season change and then I like to use the exuvians basically under my eyes here and then like my chin or my like there we go wherever I get like wrinkles when I make expressions I like to stick that exuvians on I always curl my lashes like off camera and then I usually trim my eyebrows today I like trimmed and brushed them they're looking so good, so when I get to brows, I'm probably just going to do brow gel and keep it like really simple. This is going to be a very simple makeup look, by the way. I'm going to put on a little bit of my She Glam lip oil. Got to keep those lips hydrated. Now I am planning for this to be a very simple, natural kind of makeup look. With a few unnatural elements, I do plan on having it on for a while. So I'm prepping my face with the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. I'm trying to. i got to really scrape at it. <laughs> I discovered this primer on a whim. I got it from my friend and I love it. So I'm just using a little bit because my skin's already really smooth and soft. I have been using the Exuviance Exfoliating Peel Pads for about six weeks now. It really has improved my skin. I still have my stress acne, but look at how, I don't know, if you haven't seen my skin before, you may not realize, but it's very, very nice. Like I was saying, I do want this to be like a very simple, kind of understated look, except for the surprise crazy element we're going to do later. I have some errands to run, and I have to go to my kid's school later for instrument rental, so I just want to make sure that this is going to last all day, too. I'm going to start placing my contour, because I... I'm planning on doing like a full underpainting. And this was the Persona Multi Bronze Stick in Sahara. One of my all time favorites. I'm going to use the Floss Beauty or Floss Cosmetics. I'm not sure which um, cheek and lip tint well cheek and lipstick oh it is a tint in sandals Ooh. and I'm gonna do concealer Ooh, you know what I want to do my color correcting first so I might Let's see. I didn't really think this through, obviously. I'll just pop a little bit of my orange concealer here and blend that out. I can't find a small sponge, so I'm just going to use a big one. Blend that out. I feel like Maybe there are others in the same boat as me, but I feel like I have not been sleeping very well. And I don't know if it's just getting used to the back to school schedule or what, but I just have not been getting the best sleep. 
Ooh, and you know what? I accidentally picked up some of my bronzer and pulled that over. So I'm going to just do a little bit more over here. Like I said, haven't been getting a lot of sleep. Need to pay attention. And now I'm going to do my concealer and I am going to kind of do like a full underpainting experience here. I, I'm going to just use a tinted moisturizer when I get to the base part of my face so I have no problem making myself look a little crazy. I'm also doing a video over on TikTok. Well, I really want to make sure that this looks like extra crazy before I ooh, switch over to the like pretty look. All right, so this is what we got. I'm gonna take my setting spray and just give everything a nice spray, kind of reactivate everything. And I'm gonna start not with the sponge. I thought I grabbed a different sponge. There we go clean sponge and I'm going to start under my eyes in the lighter parts of my face first and I do want to take some of the concealer and make sure I get just a little bit on my eyelid I'm not doing a full eye look but I still am going to do a little bit of shadow up there just to kind of enhance the natural beauty going on <laughs> Blend those together. I'm just giving some of the concealer spots like a rough blend just so I don't mix it in with the bronzer too much, just until I have it blended out more. My hair is all over the place. It's still drying, so it's like getting frizzy as we speak. <laughs> And I'm going to go in with the blush. Everything is blending really nice so far. Alright. It's honestly been so long since I've done this technique. Oh, the blending. My arm's already tired. And I am going to go back over everything with a layer of my tinted moisturizer. So I know it looks a little insane now, but it won't look that way forever. I might even go through and add a bit more blush to some spots because I just feel like it's not really blushy enough. I suppose I could just always use one of my powder blushes to kind of set everything once I'm done. And a lot of times when I take the lives I'm doing and condense them down into the tutorials, I feel like we are missing a big chunk of like my personality and everything in those because I do talk a lot during my live. I share a lot about myself and I go live at least like twice a week over on TikTok. It was a lot harder to do over the summer, but now that the kid is back in school, I at least have a little bit of time to work with. I've switched over to a cleaner side of the sponge and now I'm just going back through and making sure everything is blended together instead of just, you know, blended out. I am gonna... Oh, I forgot about my lips. <laughs> I 
I am gonna go back through and darken up some spots because I just know it's not going to show through once I put the moisturizer on. And as I was saying before, I want this look to last and not look too like intense or anything because we do have a lot to do. More blush too. Oh, my hair. I'm very much looking forward to the season changing. I'm not enjoying the allergies, but once it gets a little cooler out, I don't have to worry about sweating all my makeup off. That is a big fear of mine. No matter how much setting spray or powder I use, it ends up getting nasty. Right. I am going to add a bit more concealer. Not just under my eyes, but on my lids here to kind of prep them for the tiny bit of eyeshadow. I'm going to use this other sponge that I had used when I did the color correcting. And using the bottom of this sponge, which is the clean side, sorry, which is the clean side, I'm going to apply some of my tinted moisturizer from ColourPop, the Pretty Fresh. Oop. And because I went so heavy with all the concealer and the underpainting, I definitely do not want to go in with a lot of layers. I want to keep this kind of light. I have a like foundation beard. <laughs> Just make sure it's all blended in. Oh god, my arm. This is a workout. I just feel like that blush got completely like lost. It just I don't know. Wasn't bright enough so I'm gonna go in with with the most pigmented blush I've ever encountered and I'm gonna use this one down here and just do a very light while tapping this blush is so pigmented so I want to make sure that I'm going in very lightly and just through here just to make sure you can see the blush because I don't like putting on blush if you can't even see it. I'm not that girl. A tiny bit on the nose. I am going to spray my face with my setting spray and let that kind of all dry down before I move on to everything else. I definitely am not doing anything too crazy for the eyes, but if you know me, you know I'm getting into the Michaela palette for my neutrals, and I'm just going to take how you doing and stick that all through the crease, onto the lid, just all over, kind of fluff it out. And then Harley, I'm just placing that right over. Very similar to what I did the other day. That's all I'm doing for eyeshadow. 
I have been wanting to use this eyeliner for a minute. It is from Luxby Cosmetics. The packaging is so pretty. It is this really pretty hot pink. It's also a lash adhesive. But my plan has been to take this and pop some of this really awesome glitter that I got over it and do this like really pretty glitter wing essentially. And I figured I would do it on a day where I didn't do anything else too crazy. That way it could be the star of the show. Oh, it is so sticky. I love that. I love eyeliners that are also lash glues. It's been like my favorite thing to use. Ooh. Really shouldn't have pulled it out that way, but that's fine. It's like sticky enough that it worked. This is really like the first product from Luxby Cosmetics that I have tried and I definitely have wanted to try their stuff for a while. And this is definitely one of the better glitter glue, or not glitter glues, eyeliner glues I've worked with. It is a little patchy, but I think that's just because I've been using it, like, without stopping. So it's just kind of starting to dry out a little. Those are basically perfect. This is the glitter. I wish that, like, I could, uh, I'm just going to kind of dip into the glitter and like place it on the wing oh yeah that works I almost kind of wish I had done this first because I'm gonna have to like wipe all this glitter away <laughs> I'm actually not sure where this glitter is from because I got it in my snarls box and it didn't have like a label on it but I got glitters from Allura, Jelly Winks, and Aluxby so I'm like wondering if it's one of theirs. I don't know. I'm just taking that glitter and popping it right onto the wing. And there's glitter all over my face, but hopefully that'll brush away. Uh, let's see. Here's hoping. Okay, cool. <laughs> kind of. Honestly, though, the places it landed, I'm going to put highlighter there anyway, so it might actually be just perfect. Right. I am going to use my She Glam glue for my lashes. Yeah, hopefully the glue will still be like kind of tacky enough for me to stick a little bit more glitter on and make this wing really pop. Maybe if I maybe if I do that mascara is almost so good I won't need lashes but I'm still wearing them all right those are some pretty good wings I love the way my wings have improved over the years
trying to get these lashes as close to my lash line as possible. It's so much easier when the glue is on your eyes instead of on the lashes. So funny. This is always the eye that goes on easy and it's like somehow switched and this eye goes on easy and then I struggle over here. Maybe I should start doing this eye first. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, I'm just going to go in with some brow gel. This is the brow tint from Ulta Beauty. I got it when my hair was a little darker, but it actually still matches pretty well. Bam. Nice full brow. That took like, what, 30 seconds? Not even, because my timer says 25. I feel like my most natural looking highlighter is my e.l.f. in the white gold. So I'm going to use that. My skin still feels so soft. <laughs> a brush for my brow. Since there already is a little bit of the glitter on my face, I'm just kind of dipping back in with the brush and I'm going to do, oh, that's pretty, do a glitter highlight. <coughs> I said natural and then I do stuff like this because that's what I do. Glitter's natural. Some of it. Alright, I just got to do mascara and lips and then this look is done. This video is probably longer than it needed to be because of all my talking, but for the most part, quick, simple, fun, very fun. That is so pretty. I'll have to ask which brand that glitter is from because I really do not know. I kind of want to do a red lip. Just thinking about another beauty creator on TikTok did like a very simple makeup look with lashes and a full like red lip and she just looked amazing. Alright, one of the best red lip things lip duos, lipsticks, whatever that I have is the e.l.f. Jen Atkin, um, let's see, Red E to Go Lip Duo. So I'm going to line my lips with the little side and then fill them in. Lining my lips is still a learning process thing. Not so great at it. I am going to add some of my iconic London lip plumping gloss. Alrighty. So this is going to be the finished look. I love it. I love the highlight. I, it was supposed to be natural. Obviously it's not, but that's how we roll over here. I hope everybody enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, Subscribe, like, comment, and make sure you go check me out over on TikTok and Instagram. I will be posting all the makeup details and a few awesome TikToks. Until next time, have a great day. I'm Tay Rex Mua.